Astronomers are trying to gather information about a comet passing Earth. They figured out this object, now named 3I Atlas, was an interstellar visitor. A mysterious object, seemingly an ordinary comet, is drawing the attention of the nation's leading scientists. A professor from Harvard goes even further, suggesting that it may, in fact, be alien technology. Now hurtling toward the sun at 36 miles per second, this visitor carries with it ice fragments older than Earth itself, formed billions of years ago in a distant star system. In a moment, you will witness the instant telescopes first captured this cosmic traveler, discover why its speed defies all known limits, and learn how ancient stardust is overturning everything we thought we knew about the universe. This is the third confirmed messenger from beyond our solar system. It began its journey millions of years before life emerged on Earth, arriving here now for this very moment, a cosmic wanderer from the depths of time. Get ready, the story begins now. A robotic telescope scanning the southern sky was searching for dangerous objects that could wipe out our civilization within minutes. But what it found was a far greater discovery than expected, a mysterious visitor from the depths of space. The Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, Atlas Telescope, located in Chile's Atacama Desert, was designed to track asteroids that might collide with Earth. But one day, it detected a faint point of light moving against the backdrop of stars. This point was not behaving like an ordinary asteroid or comet. On the contrary, it was moving in a completely different direction. Normally, all objects born within our solar system travel in regular, sun-centered orbits, like leaves carried along by a current. But this mysterious visitor was swimming against the current, defying the very laws of physics as it traveled at an entirely different angle. Just a few hours after the first observations, the research team realized they had found something extraordinary. This object was not only moving in the wrong direction, it was also traveling at an astonishing speed. While most celestial bodies move at a few thousand miles per hour, this visitor was gliding through the void like a fired bullet. Initial calculations showed that the object was moving fast enough to escape not only our solar system, but even the gravitational pull of nearby stars. The result sent shockwaves through the world of astronomy. Humanity was witnessing, for only the third time in history, the arrival of an interstellar visitor. Humanity had, until now, witnessed cosmic travelers from beyond our solar system only twice. The first was the cigar-shaped mystery object Oumuamua, discovered in 2017. The second was the Borisov comet, spotted in 2019. Both sparked heated debates among astronomers about their origins and nature. But this new arrival eclipsed them both. Oumuamua was roughly the size of a football field, while Borisov measured about the length of a city block. This latest visitor, however, was estimated to be several miles long, many times larger than its interstellar predecessors. This colossal object had broken away from a star system so distant that its light takes decades to reach us. The telescope in Chile had, without realizing it, opened a window into the deepest reaches of the universe. Within 72 hours of the discovery, observatories across six continents turned their telescopes toward the same patch of sky. Their mission, to capture every photon of light emitted by this cosmic time capsule. Because they knew this opportunity might never come again. The real shock came with the speed calculations.
This interstellar visitor wasn't just fast, it was traveling at an almost unimaginable velocity, 36 miles per second. To put that into perspective, at this speed, you could travel from New York to Los Angeles in under two minutes. A passenger plane, by comparison, would take about six hours to cover the same distance. This speed shattered all previously known records. Oumuamua traveled at 16 miles per second, while Borisov moved at 20. The new object was nearly twice as fast as either of them. Such incredible velocity was no mere coincidence. To achieve it, the object must have been hurled into space by an extraordinarily powerful event caused by planets or stars. In the words of astronomers, this visitor had attained hyperbolic speed, meaning it possessed enough energy to continue its journey between galaxies without ever falling under the gravitational pull of any star. This extraordinary speed also meant that time was running out. Asteroids orbit the Sun for millions of years, giving scientists the chance for long-term study. But for interstellar visitors, the situation is different. They pass through the sky like cosmic shooting stars. Traveling at 36 miles per second, this object would cross the entire solar system in less than two years. That meant telescopes would have only a few months to observe it. As a result, observatories around the world held emergency meetings. Every clear night was now worth its weight in gold. Every hour of telescope time meant data that could never be obtained again. Scientists had effectively launched a cosmic gold rush, racing against time to unlock the secrets of this mysterious traveler before it vanished forever. Before long, astronomers' suspicions were confirmed. The International Astronomical Union, IAU, officially registered the object, 3I Atlas. Here, the I stands for interstellar, while the 3 marks it as the third confirmed interstellar visitor in human history. But this was only the beginning. Even the object's physical dimensions were astonishing. Compared to previous visitors, it possessed an almost colossal body. Standing beside it would be like an ant facing a skyscraper. Initial estimates suggested this cosmic traveler was between 6 and 12 miles wide. In other words, while Oumuamua measured roughly the size of a football field and Borisov spanned about a city block, this newcomer was nearly the size of an entire city. To measure such immensity, scientists used light as a kind of ruler. By analyzing the sunlight it reflected, factoring in both its distance and brightness, they derived size estimates. The Hubble Space Telescope provided the sharpest images, lending certainty to these measurements. The picture that emerged was of a massive core of ice and rock drifting through the sky shrouded in a halo of dust and gas. Its sheer size also explained how it had survived a perilous journey lasting millions of years, emerging unscathed. The object's size was not merely a matter of impressive appearance, it was also the key to its survival. Smaller bodies could be completely destroyed over time by cosmic radiation and micrometeoroids during an interstellar journey. But this giant had managed to remain largely intact despite millions of years of relentless erosion. Of course, parts of its outer layers had melted or broken away along the way. Yet enough material remained in its core that as it approached the sun, it could display the magnificent cloud of light and dust we see today. Every particle was formed in a distant star system billions of years ago and was now mingling with the wind of our own sun. Scientists say this offers clues about the object's first voyage. To tear such a massive body from its home system and hurl it into interstellar space could not have been an ordinary event.
Most likely, the powerful gravitational pull of giant planets or violent processes such as stellar explosions had flung this colossal mass into the depths of the cosmos. What made it even more extraordinary was the sheer rarity of such interstellar visitors. In thousands of years of watching the skies, humanity has confirmed only three of them to date. Each one, therefore, is as valuable to science as the discovery of a new continent. The numbers, in fact, tell us about our loneliness in the universe. The Milky Way contains more than 400 billion stars, and most of them are surrounded by planetary systems. With so many systems constantly producing comets and asteroids and flinging them into space, in theory, interstellar travelers should be countless. In reality, however, they are extremely difficult to detect. Most are too small, too dark, or remain outside our field of observation. It's highly likely that thousands have silently passed through our solar system without ever being seen by our telescopes. That is why each new discovery is a treasure beyond measure. Every interstellar visitor carries the chemical traces of distant worlds. They are like specimens of cosmic archaeology, messengers formed around other stars traveling for millions of years before arriving at our doorstep. As observatories around the world continued to collect data from this mysterious visitor, a major debate erupted among scientists. Some argued that the massive celestial object was nothing more than an ordinary comet, Yet even those who supported this view struggled to explain the object's extraordinary speed and trajectory. Professor Elliot Ramirez from Harvard proposed a bolder claim. If this were merely a pile of ice and rock, it would be impossible for it to arrive intact as we see it now. This object either possesses an extraordinarily resilient composition, or it is not a natural structure. Ramirez's words resonated deeply within the scientific community. Some criticized his statement for pushing beyond the boundaries of science, while others believed it could open the door to the greatest discovery in human history. Radio telescopes joined the investigation. Scans across different frequencies recorded irregular echoes coming from the surface of the object. Most researchers attributed these to natural processes, but a few could not dismiss the possibility that the echoes might originate from an artificial source. Suddenly, humanity was faced with two extraordinary possibilities. This was merely a product of nature's boundless power or the first evidence that we are not alone in the universe had arrived at our doorstep. With the announcement of the discovery, the world was suddenly divided in two. Television channels, newspapers, and social media were talking about nothing else but this mysterious object. Some saw the massive visitor in the sky as a harbinger of disaster. Sensational headlines like, It Will Hit Earth, reached millions. Panic buying began in supermarkets, and some people started preparing shelters in their homes. On the other hand, there were those who welcomed the event with hope. Religious groups claimed it was a celestial sign. Science enthusiasts considered this moment a turning point in human history. On platforms like Twitter and TikTok, the hashtag Cosmic Visitor was shared millions of times. People turned their telescopes to the sky, and some tried to spot the stranger with the naked eye. Conspiracy theories weren't far behind. Some videos claimed there were glowing structures on the object's surface. Others believed it was a spacecraft already known to governments but kept secret. In short, the silent traveler in the sky had stirred humanity's dreams, fears, and beliefs all at once, and one question echoed in everyone's mind. If this really is an artificial object, will it try to communicate with us? 
The brief visit of this colossal traveler across our sky reminded humanity once again of the vastness of the universe and our own smallness within it. This object, torn from light years away, had originally formed billions of years ago around another star. The ice, dust, and minerals it carried bore the chemical fingerprints of distant stellar systems. Every measurement whispered not only the secrets of this object, but also the hidden processes that once shaped the birth of our own planet. There was one truth scientists agreed upon. Every interstellar object is, in essence, a cosmic archive. Studying them helps us understand the history of the universe, the lifespans of stars, and the formation of planets. Some of these particles may even contain the building blocks of life, carbon, amino acids, perhaps even organic molecules. If so, this silent traveler passing through our sky could be evidence that life is not unique to Earth. Today, we were able to observe this stranger for only a few months through our telescopes. In reality, it was merely pausing in the middle of a journey that had lasted millions of years. And we, by chance, became the lucky civilization able to glimpse it through this fleeting window. Perhaps one day, when our technology allows, we will reach such visitors, land on their surfaces, and unlock the secrets they carry. Until then, every foreign point of light drifting across the sky will continue to remind us the universe is far more alive, far more dynamic, and far richer in history than we ever imagined. And every new discovery is, in truth, a doorway to understanding our own existence.